In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a simple gear train within Onshape. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to insert. I'm gonna to go to our Team Automata VEX Robotics Parts. Um, again, we're using the VEX Robotics Parts in class, um, so it only makes sense that we are using uh, the VEX parts in Onshape. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna grab is kind of just like a metal base piece. Um, I'm gonna use this metal uh, one by five by 35 piece right here. Um, the next thing I'm, I'm going to grab is a couple gears. It doesn't really matter which ones we use for this, uh, but for the video's sake, I'll just use a 60 tooth and I will use a 12 tooth. Sure. Um, the next thing I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab a couple axles. Um, we could grab, you know, maybe we just grab a couple of these. And then uh, we could grab some collars as well some shaft collars um we could open up there we'll just grab a couple of these we'll grab uh let's grab four of these two for each gear there's three and then there is four um that's a good start let's do green check mark um again kind of starting with anything in assembly uh we find our first part our base um, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to fix it to the ground. So again, as I grab my gear, you can see that that gear is moving. Um, as I try to move my metal base now, um, my base does not move. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is let's do some Revolute Mates. Um, I'm going to do it with this 60 tooth gear first. Um, kind of a nice trick, uh, if you knew this or not, is if you can't really get to the center point, like I, I try to grab this, it goes away. If you just hold shift and move your cursor over, okay, it'll actually lock on there for you. Um, so I, I grab my, my center point right here. I can kind of move my base around. Again, it doesn't really matter where we place it on here. Um, we, can just, we can just put it over here. Again, if I hold shift, I go over to the middle, I can click, and now it's there. Uh, let's, let's flip our axis so our gear is not inside of our plate, but we can say green check mark. We got the first one in. Okay, uh, we can go to our next gear as well. We'll, we'll keep it on Revolute Mate. Again, we want these gears to spin. Um, again, I can, you know, kind of rotate my gear around. Um, ooh, it locked onto the middle point. Perfect. I'm going to click there. Looks good. Um, let's rotate around. And again, if you knew this or not, like when building with Vex or even just for this video, like the 12 tooth gear will go here, the 36, the 60, and the 84. Okay, so that's just kind of how the spacing works for that. Again, I can hold shift, go to my middle point, I can click and let go, and that will let me click right in the middle there, which is super nice, okay? Um, so we'll say green check mark, that looks good to go. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, again, like what I like to do is, I, let's just check, like, yeah, if I click and hold on this now, like, yeah, my gear's gonna spin, okay? I could go to this gear again, let's check this one. Okay, like I've spun both of those, okay? They both spin, good, great, grand, okay? Here's the next part though, is we have to now tie these together so that when I spin one gear, it will also spin the next gear, okay? So I can go to gear relation, all right? Um, and when we talked about gears, right? Like we've, we've talked about like an input gear uh, and an output gear. So which gear is uh, receiving the power and which one is your follower, okay? Um, when we're choosing our gear uh, relation, okay, our Revolute 2 would be our output and our Revolute 1 is going to be our input. So we'll put our effort onto this gear. So we'll choose our output gear first. So again, our output gear over our input gear. That's going to go to our relation ratio. So what is our gear ratio, right? So our output gear is 12. Our input gear is 60. Again, that's just the teeth. Okay. We'll kind of lock that in and I'll say green check mark. Okay. We can check and see if our ratio is correct by just clicking and dragging on this. As you can see, those teeth are hitting in the exact same spot every time. So that looks like we're good to go. Just to show you again, like sometimes it, it totally depends on which one you choose first. So again, like you might have this as your input. Maybe you said, yeah, Revolute one over two. Um, so again, if you did like 60 over 12, just to just to show you, like 
you can see like clearly this one is spinning a lot faster than our other one. Okay, so that's just a really simple way to figure out uh, if you have your ratio correct. Okay, um, the next thing that we want to do is, well, yeah, our, our ratio is correct, but, you know, we have a problem. Our teeth are colliding, okay, and we don't want that. So what we can do um, is if we open up our first Revolute, um, we can just do this first gear right here. If we open up our little drop-down menu, we have two options. We have a mate connector one we have a mate connector two um, as we notice this first mate connector it highlights the gear we hover over the second one it highlights the metal well we want to make an edit to this gear so if we double click on this it's going to open up a menu uh, and we're going to choose the move command uh, what we can do then is we can change our rotational angle okay our rotation angle and again for this one it's going to be different depending on um which gear you choose. And again, let's just, let's just start with like one and that might've done it. Wow. Uh, that was a heck of a guess. Um, so again, as we look at this now, like, yeah, we, we don't have any, uh, running into each other here. We have a nice, uh, little tolerance gap there. So again, we don't have any colliding gear teeth. It looks like we have a space in between each gear. Let's do green check mark. Okay. So now what we can do is we can click, we can hold, and we can see those gear teeth completely spin perfectly. There's no collisions. Um, so again, like we, we have a working simple gear train. Just to show you some additional things that you can do in Onshape, right? Like we have our axles, we have our shaft collars. Um, we can do a fasten mate and we can click on our axles, okay? And since we're doing a fasten mate, okay, and we're fasten mating these to the gear, right, we could do an offset, you know, we could say, yeah, I want to move this down our Z, um, let's say, I don't know, an inch, that works for me, all right, and then let's just put a shaft collar on here as well, we'll do a fasten mate, we'll do our shaft collar over here, and let's just put this on our gear right here, okay, um, again, let's do that middle point. It kind of locks on there. Let's flip it so we don't have our part inside of our other part. Okay. Um, and then again, let's just do this other one really quick. I'll go fasten mate to the middle. We'll go fasten mate to the middle of that part right there. Again, we could offset it a little bit if we want it to look kind of even on both sides. Let's just do an inch. That looks good. Um, I got these last couple shaft colors on here. I'll just, uh, I just won't do the last two. Um, you can kind of get the point of how I'm doing it with these other ones. Um, so again, we can just go up here again. If we can't get to this little point center point right there again, if you just hold shift and bring it over there, click and let go, it should lock on there, flip it. So we're not inside of our parts. Let's go green check. Um, we can kind of close out of that. I'll just delete these really quick. Okay. So now I have this simple gear train. And again, the nice part is since we fasten mated, our drive shafts and our shaft collars as we spin our gear train like our axles and our shaft collars actually spin as well okay um so kind of cool thing i like to do again if we go to our first revolute mate we can go to animate and again like we can just animate our simple gear train so again we have a 60 tooth gear spinning a 12 tooth gear um, and again as we as we look at our teeth as well like our teeth are perfectly uh, spinning together. They're perfectly meshed. Um, there, there's no collisions. And again, if we wanted to see that, like we could slow this way down. Let's do like 2000. And again, like we can see those teeth are perfectly spinning together now. They're meshed perfectly, no collisions. So again, this is how you would make a simple gear train in Onshape.